Good morning, Year 1 and 2. It's Monday, so it's time for a maths meeting. So I hope you're ready to sing along. Get your pencils and uh, books ready or pieces of paper. We love maths. Go. Yes, we do. We love maths and we're ready to with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We love maths. It's really great. OK, so we're going to start today with some counting. Now, we've been counting on our 100 square or in our heads, counting in twos, fives and tens over the last couple of weeks, as well as counting forwards and backwards in ones. So year ones, what I'd like you to do um, is either using 100 square or choosing any number you like. I'm just going to choose a random number. I'm going to choose number 46. And putting 46 in my head, I'm going to count forwards all the way until I get to 100. So 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and so on. Okay? And then choose another number, 63. And this time, maybe count backwards in ones. So starting at 63, counting backwards, 62, 61, 60. 59 and keep going until you get to zero. Year twos, what I'd like you to start doing is to count in three. So now using my hundred square, I'm going to start at three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and see if you can carry on all the way to a hundred. Um, you can use a hundred square to help you, or if you think you can do it in your head, just start counting or writing them out. It's completely up to you. So that's your counting part. Off you go. Okay, so this next part, we're going to be looking at some missing numbers and using our knowledge of inverse, which means the opposite, uh, the opposite um, operation to work these out. So let me give you an example. So here we've got seven, equals something subtract nine now normally we would have the equal side and uh, sign and the answer on this side but i've swapped it around to make it more difficult but we can still have a go at working it out so if we know that the answer is seven and we know that that's a subtraction sign we know that something here the number here has got to be bigger than nine and bigger than seven in order to be able to take away nine in the first place. So I wonder if you can think about what operation, so what sign do you think you'd have to have to use there to work it out using the two numbers that we've got? Well, actually, if we look at the inverse now, the inverse of subtract is addition. So we're gonna use an add sign using the two numbers that we've got here. So if I now do nine, add 7 equals, I wonder if we can do that in our head, if not we can use our fingers or draw some pictures and I know the answer to that is 16. So our missing number here, 7 equals 16 take away 9 and if I wrote it out as 16 take away 9 the answer would be 7. So I'm going to put a few of these examples now on the next slide um, for year ones. Year twos, yours are slightly trickier numbers, but the same principle applies. Uh, year ones, you may want to have a go at doing these as well. OK, good luck. So last week we looked at fractions of shape. This week we're going to look at fractions of number. So if I was to take the number 6 and I wanted to find half of 6. Now when we find half of a number, we're actually dividing it by 2. So we're we're trying to split it into two equal parts, just like last week when we learned about the shapes. Uh, today we're just splitting that number six in half. So we can divide it by 
but in two circles like that and, and sharing the number six out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So half of six equals three. And I'm gonna give you some challenges in a minute to work out on, on the next couple of slides. Now, if we wanted to find a quarter of a number, so how many pieces do we need to divide it into? That's right, we need to divide it into four pieces. Now, we don't know our four times table, or we may not know our four times table yet, but the, the same rules apply. So this time, we're gonna split 12 into four equal pieces. So I've got one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna share out my 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So how many are in each? There's three in each. So a quarter of 12 equals three. Now, the next one is to find out three quarters of a number, and this is getting a bit tricky. So if I use the same number of 12 that we did before, this time I still want to split it into four equal pieces. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna share out 12 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. We know from the previous example that there's three in each, so that would be one quarter, but this time we want three quarters. So we want this one, and this one, and this one, because all of these added together is three quarters, so we know that that's three, six, nine. So three quarters of 12 is nine. So on the next page, there's going to be some finding halves, finding quarters, and finding three quarters of number. Thirds can be done in exactly the same way, actually. So let's just put a third on. So if I was to try and find a third of nine, for example, um, and all if I'm trying to find a third of nine, I need to make sure that the number here is divisible by three. That means that if the numbers can go exactly into that. So the same rule apply, I need three equal groups. One, two, three, and I'm gonna share out nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've gotta make sure that each group is equal, which they are, they've each got three in. So a third of nine is three. So you can have a go at working out the following uh, fractions of number. Good luck. Did you manage to do those? I put an extra challenge in there for you this week. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing some work on time. So get ready to shout out the next bit. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Okay, so I've got my teaching clock now from school, which is a lot easier to use. So we're just gonna recap on knowing our o'clocks, our half past the hour, our quarter past the hour, and our quarter to the hour, okay? Now, we know that these are in five minute intervals, so we're just gonna count uh, round these. So it's five past, 10 past, 15 minutes past, or we also say quarter past, because we don't say it's 15 minutes past three. 20 past, 25 past, half past, now, when we get to this bit here, this bit is 35 minutes past, but we don't say 35 minutes past the hour. After we get to half past, we start saying the, the words two, how many minutes two. So this one 
if we look at here, we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We've got 25 minutes uh, and then you get to o'clock again. So this is 25 to 4. This is 20 to 4. Quarter to 4, which we know about. 10 to 4. 5 to 4. And then it gets to the o'clock. So this side of it, with the minutes 2, this is where it gets a little bit trickier. So you may want to practice those at home if you've got a clock at home. So my next uh, next part is going to be asking you some questions about some time. Okay, are you ready? My first question, I walked my dog for half an hour. I left at 4.30pm. So I walked the dog for half an hour. I left at half past four. What time did I get back? My second question. I've got to put my dinner on, but it takes an hour. I want to eat at half past six. So this is the time I actually want to eat. And I've got to put it on an hour before that. So what time do I need to put my dinner on? And the third question, now again, this is a tricky one. This is about the five pasts and the five minute intervals. So it is, what is, if I show you five past four, what is 35 minutes later than five past four? So you've got to count round 35 minutes later. So have a go at doing those at home. The last thing I wanted to show you about time is how we actually write the time. Because this is what's called an analogue clock. And this is where we would write the words or the symbols half past four and four o'clock. But actually, we can record the, the time using a digital time. And this is probably what you see on your phones and computers. So it's important that we know that time as well. So this is four o'clock. And we would write four o'clock like that. And that means exactly the same as four o'clock. If it's half past the hour, so if I was to to do half past five. Can you remember how many minutes past is half past? It's 30 minutes past. So we would write that as 5.30. If it was 15 minutes past, so if it was quarter past, say quarter past two, we know that the quarter is 15, so that would be 15 minutes past two. Okay, and your last slide, I'm going to give you some questions with the, with, with the uh, symbols like that, and I want to see if you can write them in the digital terms like this. They're super tricky, but have a go. Okay. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you've had fun and I hope you've done some really good learning. Uh, I shall put some maths, maths activity sheets on the website uh, as usual under either the year one or the year two tab. See you next week. Bye for now.